Hello YouTube. I hope everybody is doing great. Today I want to show you my single digit NTP Nix, Nixie clock <laughs> uh, based on the ESP32. This is the PCB uh, sponsored by PCBWay.com. Thank you very very much. And uh, this one is using the ESP32 TDGO Micro Micro 32 T Micro 32. So this is a smaller version of the ESP. And before we go into detail, let's see what PCBWay has to offer. This video is sponsored by PCBWay.com. Not only does PCBWay offer high quality PCB services, which include standard PCBs, they also offer advanced PCBs, flexible PCBs and PCB assembly. You can upload your Gerber files and select the options according to your needs, including SMD stencil and assembly services. On the top of the page you can make your selection. PCBWay also has CNC machining, sheet metal cutting and bending, 3D printing and injection molding services. You can choose from a vast variety of materials. You can upload your CAD file for an instant online quote, including the selection of your preferred material and surface finish. They also offer anodizing of aluminum parts in different colors and surface treatments. You can get sheet metal fabrication and laser cutting. 3D printing services and cover your injection molding needs. PCBWay is your one-stop solution for hobbyist and professional manufacturing as well. Okay, since we got that out of the way, let's look at the PCB. It is, I think, 18 by 30. Oh, I forgot. Dimensions I do forget. I have to look from the side. It's 18 by 38 millimeters. And double-sided, obviously. And it is based, as I said, on the ESP32. It has uh, LiPo charging, obviously. It has... Uh, what else? Well, it's running with high voltage, obviously, for the Nixie tubes. I'm using these modules. And this one is using the IN17 Nixie tube, which is, I think, uh, there are smaller ones, but this is the most common, smallest Nixie tube, which does have a correct 5, which I like very much. And uh, anyway, without further ado, let's look into it. So I used a 25 by 25 by 50 millimeter aluminum case. And I have these acrylic pieces. I have four with uh, the hole and one on the top is closed and um, I wanted to have this as slick as possible I actually did order some USB type C connectors which I which arrived after I finished this actually and these are waterproof ones not that I need any waterproof one on here but I was going to make it obviously with uh, power from type C and um, then I figured I want to make this with wireless charging and the switch would be a slide switch on the back here which does stick out and I didn't want to do that <clears throat> so before the as I said before the type C connectors arrived I made it like this and this is obviously running with wireless charging um, slash direct wireless so this is the version actually it doesn't have a battery it just have the wireless charger or power supply and this is a very cheap Q 
i charging pad and as soon as you put it on here you'll see it blinked once and since it's an ntp clock it will show you the time hmm come on now you can do it Normally it doesn't take that long, obviously. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Do I have internet by chance? Well. Let's try this again. Believe me, it never did that. But now, as you see, this is also NTP clock, 1949, 1949. Anyway, I don't know why it took this long. Let's try this again, because normally it doesn't take that long. And in the meantime, this is one that has a LiPo battery. See, it works. <laughs> <clears throat> this one has a LiPo battery in it which gets charged with the wireless pad. I put some cheap uh, carbon fiber foil on here uh, and through the little bit heat that is generated it did deform a little bit. I might put something else on there or just leave it because you cannot see it anyway. So this is the same. This one has a battery. On battery it runs about two hours before it runs out. And this one obviously would be more likely to get a switch. As I said, I did not receive the sliding switches, so I have this constantly on. And, um, and it's been running for several weeks now. It's been a while since I made a video, sorry about that. But anyway, this is running on batteries. And as soon as you put it on here, you see it will start charging. Actually, normally the blue goes out if it's not charging. I don't know why it doesn't go out. But here you can see as soon as I put it on there, it does start charging. And last night we had uh, real thunderstorms and rain heavy rain of course the power went out and this was the only illumination in the room i had so i think it does look nice and you can see also from the side the different layers of the digits that go back and forth and um, i think this is a nice solution so anyway um if you like i will share the pcbs on the pcb design on pcb way and you can get it over there see it doesn't take that long i was gonna say but that was just the first lighting up of the neopixel neopixel oh man nixie tube <laughs> anyway this is it uh <clears throat> just I forgot uh, to connect it to your internet router or internet network, uh, not internet. Um, what I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm talk. I guess it's been a while that I didn't make videos, and that's why your Wi-Fi connection. Uh, as soon as you power it up, you can see it on your phone. It comes up as Nixie Clock, and then you can put in your Wi-Fi credentials. And as soon as you put it in and save them. You don't have to do it and uh, do it again. <clears throat> and then anytime you turn it on, it will connect to your Wi-Fi and show the time. And I tried it. It actually works also. Once it gets the time, it does work without Wi-Fi as well. So I took this on a trip with me to the city and um, it ran perfectly fine. So you don't have... Uh, to have constant Wi-Fi connection 
So this is it. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And please, if you like to see more videos, I have I have something coming up. I made a new clock with four of those uh, IN17 Nixie tubes. So if you're interested in that, if you want to get notified, please uh, click the subscription button and uh, click the notification bell so you will get notified and i would also appreciate it if you uh, like and share my videos and you can support me on my tindy web page by buying some products here are some examples and you can also become a patreon that would be the biggest honor or you can just make a coffee donation per with uh, PayPal and anyway I hope you liked it and I see you on the next one take care